dear students in this section we will be dealing with the equivalent circuit and the corresponding phase set diagram of a three phase induction motor the equivalent circuit is used to analyze the performance of a machine there is enough to have a single phase equivalent circuit because all the phases are identical in nature the first diagram shows the equivalent circuit of the stator and the same can be compared with the the primary equivalent circuit of a transformer and the second diagram is a equivalent circuit of the rotor of induction machine and it can be compared with the secondary side equivalent circuit of a transformer for the first diagram that is for the equivalent circuit of the stator we have r1 and x1 which are the parameters of the stator winding and t1 is the number of turns of the stator winding for the second diagram r2 and x2s are the parameters of the rotor winding and t2 is the number of turns of the rotor winding for the second diagram we have considered the short circuit condition and the first diagram we have a parallel circuit having the parameters r0 and x0 that corresponds to the no load intake that is i0 for the machine here the diagrams 2 and 3 are almost identical and we have considered for the first diagram i2s which is a slip frequency current and for the second diagram i2 is considered which is a line frequency current and from the equation we have i2s is equal to s e2 divided by r2 plus j s x2 that is why the components r2 and j x2 s are taken for the second diagram and for the third diagram I, we have the equation i2 is equal to e2 divided by r2 divided by s plus j x2 and we have considered r2 divided by s and j x2 as the two components and the emf as e2 and the current that is flowing through is i2 comparing the diagrams 3 and 4 in the fourth diagram we are considering a constant resistance r2 and a variable resistance r2 into 1 by s minus 1 as the load resistance rl combining r2 and r2 into 1 by s minus 1 we have a single resistance that too is a variable one as r2 divided by s that is given in the third diagram in the fourth diagram that is given the power available across the load resistance rl will be the equivalent for mechanical power that is developed and that is given by the equation pd is equal to 3 i2 square rl and rl can be equated to r2 into 1 by s minus 1 for the equivalent circuit of the transformer we were referring the equivalent circuit either to the primary side or to the secondary side here in the case of equivalent circuit of three phase induction motor we will be referring to the stator side so all the parameters on the rotor side will be referred to the stator side for the same we will have to transfer the parameters e2 r2 x2 rl i2 etc to the stator side the method of referring these parameters or these elements to the stator side is same as that we had in the case of a transformer that is referring the secondary times to the primary side for voltage 
that is enough to divide by k for current it is enough to multiply by k for resistance and reactances there is enough to divide by k square hope you remember the details from the transformer equivalent circuit the way by which we refer the rotor times to the stator times is given in this slide as i had already mentioned to refer the resistance and reactances there is enough to divide by k square for current multiply by k for voltage divide by k here the first diagram that is figure number 6 shows the exact equivalent circuit referred to stator side r2 dash x2 dash e2 dash rl dash are the rotor times that are referred to the stator side the approximate equivalent circuit referred to stator also is given as the next diagram that is figure number 7 the method of obtaining exact equivalent circuit or approximate equivalent circuit is same as that we had in transformer from the approximate equivalent circuit referred to stator we had in the previous slide you can combine the resistance frames and reactance frames and obtain as r01 and x01 r01 is equal to r1 plus r2 dash and x01 is equal to x1 plus x2 dash and we can combine r01 and x01 as z01 equal to r01 plus jx01 we have the equations for rl dash that is r2 divided by k square into 1 by s minus 1 or rl dash is equal to r2 dash into 1 divided by s minus 1 from the exact equivalent circuit we can draw the phasor diagram for a three phase induction motor the same can be compared with the phasor diagram of a transformer the steps for drawing the phasor diagram is given in the next two slides you can go through the steps and follow the phasor diagram in order to draw the phasor diagram we will start with the flux phi m phi m is made as a reference because there is the link between the rotor and the stator circuit next one we will be drawing e1 or e2 which will be lagging by an angle 90 degree with respect to the flux minus e1 will be in opposition to e1 that is leading by an angle 180 degree with respect to e1 and i m the magnetizing component of no load current will be in phase with that of the flux phi m and i w will be in phase with that of minus e1 from i w and i m we can find out the no load current i naught which will be lagging by an angle phi naught with respect to e1 minus e1 let us consider a lagging current on rotor side i2 lagging by an angle phi2 with respect to e2 consider rotor circuit a resistance drop which will be in phase with that of i2 itself The rotor side reactance drop will be laid by an angle 90 degree with respect to I2. By combining these two drops, that is resistance drop and reactance drop on the rotor side, we get E2. Rotor current I2 can be referred to the stator side by I2 dash. That is given as Ki2 and which will be in opposition to 
the rotor current I2 that is it will be having a phase difference of 180 degree and combining I2 dash and I0 we will get I1 the stator current now we can find out I1 R1 in phase with I1 and can be drawn from the tip of minus E1 and I1 X1 can be drawn leading by an angle 90 degree with respect to I1 and combining I1 X1, I1 R1 and minus E1 we get the total supply voltage on the stator side. The angle between V1 and I1 there is a supply voltage and the stator current is given as phi1. The steps to draw the phasor diagram for a three phase induction motor is given in these slides. Hope you have understood the phasor diagram and the equivalent circuit of a three phase induction motor. You can compare the same with the equivalent circuit of a three phase transformer. Thank you.